Well, good morning. Welcome back to Living on the Farm. Uh, we're just out feeding this morning and we told you we'd update you on some of our projects. So we finally got all our concrete pads and bunks in for our inline bunks. And this one's a little different than some of the others. We already had this continuous panel fence uh, in here. That's kind of where we wanted the feeder though. So we just cut these panels uh, to a certain height and put the bunks in there and it's worked out really well. It was some of the quicker ones we've done were putting the bunks in here uh, with those posts already in and the continuous panel across the top. It made it really easy to throw it all together. But we've been using them for probably a week and a half and uh, we love them. They've, they've done really well. Cattle like them and we've been able to work a lot of cattle a lot easier. We can work more groups in a day because we just feed them and lock them up and don't have to go round them up. So it's been working pretty well. The the biggest reason we needed inline bunks is we have a J lure that we feed silage with in the winter. Uh, we we chop corn in uh, well it depends on the year but early August somewhere in there and. Uh, put it in a bag and it ferments and then in the winter we mix it with hay and uh, sometimes some cracked corn or feed and we feed it as a mixed ration to the cattle to kind of cut back on feed costs if you were to just feed them grain year round it'd get pretty expensive so we do this in the winter and that j lore pulls behind the tractor so we needed uh, before we were pulling wagons up to the barn and dumping the silage out and scooping it and putting it in the wagons and then taking it back to the cows. Now we've got these inline bunks, we just drive right alongside of them and dump it straight into the bunk. And uh, it's made feeding go a lot quicker. The silage we use to, it, it works as a replacement for grass. It's where they're, they're gonna get their main source of forage through the winter. Since the grass has gone dormant, and there's not much left. They, they eat the silage and the hay mixed together to get their forage and dry matter. So this is our silage bags. A lot of people have a pit, but we use bags. We just haven't built a pit. And the only bad part about a bag is you usually have to scoop out the sides where the bucket of the tractor can't get to. But, uh, so it's a little more labor, but it's not bad. And silage is actually the whole corn plant. The kernel, the cob, the stalk, the leaves, everything gets chopped up and blown into this bag. Where normal combined corn is just the, is the kernel. That's all they want out of it. Cattle really love the silage. So we just got these bunks done the other day. So we're getting these cows trained to learn their new where their new buffet is. Trying to get them to follow us over there.
this bunk over here is we've got two left to get bunks for we just haven't picked them up yet but that's kind of what it looks like before we get the bunks set <laughs> 